Hello my beautiful people and welcome to this week's weekly vlog. It's currently Wednesday. I tried to film an intro the other day and I looked back at the footage and it was terrible. So we're going to get rid of that. I currently am still very spicy coughed, which is not great. But I'm actually having not too bad a day today, which is good. Because recently, the last couple of days have been awful. So I'm currently sitting working. I'm just on a break just now. But yeah, I have been reading My Roommate is a Vampire. The first day I read it, I read about 33 pages. That was on Monday. And I really wasn't doing well with it. My brain fog was so bad that I was just taking in none of it. So the first 33 pages were kind of a write-off for me. But then, last night, after I'd had quite a long sleep and had something to eat, I decided to pick the book up again and try and see if I could read it a little bit more and thankfully I read like 110 pages last night and it is so funny like I'm finding myself laughing out loud so the premise of the book is that a roommate has put up an ad on Craigslist for £200 for this apartment that seems to be really nice and too good to be true and our main character basically doesn't have a lot of money she's struggling a little bit she's been evicted from her previous place and she really needs to find somewhere that's quite cheap so she decides to go for it and what unfolds is just so funny and like the vampire himself is just this eccentric like wears like bowler hats and things like that and is basically trying to figure out how to be in society in the modern day world and some of the things that, like the interactions between him and the main character are just so funny it is just cracking me up and this is exactly what I need while I've got the spicy cough something to just cheer me up I don't know if this is going to be smutty I'm not 100% sure I also don't know what I'm doing with my hands um so it could be smutty I'm not sure but for just now it's definitely a five star just because it's made me laugh so much when I've been feeling so rubbish so yeah I would highly recommend it if you're looking for something that is hilarious and really awkward and just fun then My Roommate is a Vampire is a really good pick for you um it's just it's had me in stitches and it's just been so funny <laughs> but I'm gonna get myself a cup of tea and then get myself back to work um and then I will hopefully read a little bit tonight. I'm having like an okay time at the moment with the spicy cough. So I'm hoping that the worst of it is over and I've just kind of got the remnants now. But I'm just going to have to wait and see how the day the day goes. Because it comes in waves and you just never know how you're going to feel in the next half hour. So yeah, fingers crossed. This is the worst it's going to be from now on. <laughs> Hello my beautiful people and happy Saturday. This whole week has kind of just merged into one giant tired day so I apologize about that. I have filmed a little bit but it's really not a huge amount. I also haven't done any other reading since I last told you about reading so this weekend I'm really hoping for a nice little recharge and to catch up with reading and to like be a normal human being again and not be consumed by the spicy cough. Um, I am still sick with the spicy cough. The spicy cough will not leave but positive vibes because I'm hoping that the worst of it is over because for the last couple of days it hasn't been as bad so fingers crossed it's not as bad. Um, Again, spicy cough ring two, not my favourite. Um, but yeah, I'm just waiting for Daniel to finish work and then I think we're going to venture out into the world because I have not ventured out into the world for a little while and um, I'm technically okay to venture out into the world because this is like day 9 or 10 or something of having COVID so I'm kind of like past this safe 
like zone they say that's like five days or something you've got to isolate because that's when you're most contagious blah 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 but I'm on like day nine or ten um of that so you know but I need some fresh air I've been stuck inside the house I'm feeling sorry for myself and I just want to see what the world looks like because it might have changed because for the year of 2024 I've not really seen outside so I think I want to go and like see a little bit of the world. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do. My energy levels are not the best. So I feel like something too strenuous might be off the cards. And Daniel says he's also not feeling the best again today. So he had the spicy cough first. Then he got over said spicy cough. And then I got the spicy cough. And then he's kind of having like a resurgence of, is that a word? Of the spicy cough. So yeah. Um... So he's kind of feeling, I don't know. My brain is still obviously not working and you guys really don't care about this. But um, if I go outside into the world, I will try and take you there is what I was trying to say in the most roundabout of ways possible. Happy Saturday. Hello, my beautiful people. I did not film while I was out, but never mind. We actually ended up being out for like three hours. That was really bad. We went to Somebody Cares charity shop which is like this massive charity shop in Aberdeen and they've got the best DVD selection. Now, I don't know if you guys know <coughs> this about me or not, but like I love buying DVDs um, and I like having a catalogue of movies. It's really old fashioned, but it's how I roll. So I got, oh, Frankie. Are you going down? Come on then. Oh no. What are you doing? There we go. So yeah, I uh, got a heap of DVDs. <coughs> and I basically just realised you probably can't even hear me. But I basically, they were like two for a pound. So you just buy a pile of them. And I bought <coughs> a massive bag of them. But I also bought... So they sell clothes as well and I got this for five pounds <clears throat> and I've got like a green kind of version but it's like a really long one that's like a jacket so I got like this purple one because it's shorter and it was five pounds so that's not bad and um, so I'm away to go get this washed and Daniel is making fajitas for dinner tonight and I think we might watch a film I'm not sure um, we watched Saw 3 last night because Daniel has only seen a couple of them so I'm not sure what our plan is. Hello, I'm vlogging. No, it's okay. Um, Marty has stolen your reading pillow. Daniel got one of those like reading pillow things that you sit on. It gives you like back support and has like the arms. Um, and Marty has stolen it already. <clears throat> so yeah, but I didn't take you guys with me, but we did go outside. So there we are, but yeah, the heat is. What is the rest of our plan? Um, he is possible movie. Possible movie. Can be soft four. Soft four. Oh, like I was saying, Daniel has only seen, you only seen the first two, hadn't you? Yeah, and I was like, that's enough. Yeah, so um, he's kind of getting into them. There is parts that Daniel doesn't watch, but I, I can watch them. Names. Then I call them names. <laughs> <laughs> Big girl. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, But yeah, so we're going to do that. And it's going to be nice. I think Frankie just clipped my jumper. But I'm not sure. But yeah. But I'm going to go because I need to get out of the kitchen for Daniel to make fajitas. And I'm going to get this washed. Get on the radiator. He's not interested. He's not. Oh well. Hello my beautiful people, happy Sunday, um, 
I have done some reading since I last updated you, but not a huge amount. I was hoping to finish this this weekend, but it just didn't happen. I'm on page 226 of my roommate is a vampire. I read for about 55 minutes or something this morning, and I'm still really enjoying it. Absolutely loving it. It's just so funny. Like I said at the beginning of this vlog, if you're looking for something that's just really funny, lighthearted, and will give you a good giggle, um, this is the book for you. But I'm coming on to end the vlog um because i'm not feeling the best daniel's just nipped out to go and get us a chipper so that i don't have to cook dinner which is nice um because the thought of having to do that is just no um i've been quite busy today i've been doing a lot of washing and catching up with that daniel's been drilling holes in the wall to get the tv up but then the drill ran out of battery so we're waiting for that to charge for that to get finished so that's going to get done from him tomorrow um still testing positive for the spicy cough like it it needs to go away now like it needs to leave but anyway hopefully next week will be a bit more productive and i will be out and about in the world and back to normal um we will just have to wait and see but i hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and i will see you all next time same time same place bye bye i was trying to do that cool thing <laughs> no.